night. So if I look tired, it's cause I am. Uh, we're rolling right into May and it's rolling right along, running out of time. Um, we've only got a week and a half left here in West Virginia. It's May the 6th today and I'm on the road again driving to meet my buddy Josh and uh, we're gonna go into a farm that's been pretty good to us over the course of four or five years. Um, we've killed quite a few birds off of it and um, it should be should be really good um, this morning, hopefully. I mean, this this is a uh, last, I've hunted four out of the last five days and they haven't been real good. Saturday was good and that's the only one that's been good out of the four, so. Um, hopefully today's a little bit better. It rained all day yesterday. We hunted yesterday morning and didn't hear a whole lot of goblin again. Um, but today it's not showing any rain until later in the day, so temperatures are good it's like 45 degrees it's clear so maybe we'll get lucky and find one today that wants to gobble a little bit anyway and maybe we can get set up on him and work him a little bit so we'll go down here and see what happens he's heard a few birds on this place this year so we'll go swing the bat and see what happens another rainy day in the rainforest. Oh, I mean, West Virginia. Raining every day. We finally found a bird here. I'm trying to get a better pin on him where he's at. I'm trying to call right here and see if I can hear him. He's not far. There's a road that runs right out through here. Drops down a point and he's on the he's on the point of it. I'm trying to get him pulled out this road to this gas site where we're set up at. he's hitting it but he's not moving but I'm gonna walk right here and I'm gonna walk back
swing up in the woods and then come back down. What? Huh? What'd you say? He might swing up in the woods. Just stay ready. He's coming.
Did you hear my gun dud? Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah. I had a dud. You heard me pull it, right? What are the chances of that? I'm sorry, I don't... I mean, what do you... Huh? I mean, you heard the... That's frustrating. I'm sorry. I mean, there's nothing. Well, I'm gonna do a little rundown of what happened just now. Uh, called in two gobblers. Worked them about perfect, as good as you can get. It's raining, of course, again. Uh, and I did a little video there before where I walked out this road, and I'll show you this road that they came out. Uh, but I walked out the road and steered them down the road. I'm gonna flip around here real quick and do a little walkthrough of uh, what they did and our setup and all that, and then we'll we'll talk about it. So, okay, so there's our decoys. You can see right there. Our setup is right there by that tree. That's my camera. We were set up back in there. It's like 52 yards to this spot right here, and this is where they kind of stopped and strutted. I don't know why they wouldn't commit and come up into those decoys, but for some reason or another, they didn't want to. And it's muddy right here, and they just thought they could just strut and show off. They came all the way out that road. That's the road I walked out. They were, they were clear out on the end, like over in there, and they walked all the way up this road. But they stopped right here for some reason. And then uh, one of them, I don't know what he saw because I don't think there's any way possible that he saw us because we were really tight and tucked in up there. Um, he saw something or he got nervous or something and was getting out. So I told Josh, go ahead and shoot him. And uh, of course, you guys know the rest. Not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> Had the old gun click, yeah. which is the a turkey hunter's worst nightmare, pretty much. But you can see right here, there is a there is a uh, track, and that's this is where they were standing right here. And Josh has got one feather to show for his efforts on his last ditch shot. As they were flying off, he must have clipped his wing or something because he's got one feather. One feather and a clicked shell for our day. But that happens. It's kind of, it's kind of stuff that happens and it sucks. We're going to walk out here and just make sure we didn't we didn't wound him or anything. I never heard him fly off, but they could have. I don't know. We were kind of down in the dumps. So... There you have it. That is what happened. Uh, great hunt. I mean, worked a perfect hot goblin. This weather has just been awful. Really, really bad. And uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Here they walked right through here. I don't really even know what to say. Like the good days that they should gobble, they they don't, like yesterday and the day before, and then the crappy, crappy days where you don't expect to hear anything, they gobble, so, like today, it's just the way it is, but anyways, we're going to lick our wounds and head back around and maybe get lucky and strike another one or something, who knows, but it's been a good day, I guess. Better than not hearing anything.